You got her up, huh? She's very different to fly. Yeah, that, that's why I was suggested she's, maybe. She's very touchy. Yeah. I started to get the hang of her. I, I, are you fly at low rates at first? I didn't even put any low rates. I didn't, the manual didn't even tell me to put it on. Low 70 rates. and 70? 70 and 100. Okay. Low rate 70, uh, okay. high rate 100. I just gave her 10 percent exo and she's starting to dial down a little bit. So now I'm gonna add. The Look pretty. I can see it all the way down Chapel Hill. Oh, there's been people just sitting here watching me. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Now we're gonna get two of them up yeah. there. This is gonna be fun. I almost lost her because I didn't have the low rate. I almost lost her right here. Oh really? Yeah, because she was doing. I thought she was tail heavy, and I balanced it. She's still fine, but she, it's just so touchy that. Yeah, I go a little nose heavy with, with what I've got going right now. All right, hold tight, guys. We'll get mine up in the air with him. Okay, we got Vito flying around up there. Let's see if I can get up there as well. Controls. Good. I'm getting dizzy already. I lost you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try and get us both in here, but I'm gonna try and follow you. Have you checked out the dive on these? <laughs> Guys, this really is a different animal to fly, especially at night. I went to mid rates. And I'm getting a nice, nicer, sharper turn. Yeah. Definitely more uh, elevator authority, too, because I got them dialed in on both. I might have to separate those. Was that a little close? Yeah, I thought you were going to hit me. I was trying to stay above. Obviously, I did. <laughs> Sorry about that. Man, I've got no power. No power at all right now. I'm just, it's just staying there. If we're getting any UFO reports, or it's plain to see in this shit, you know.
<laughs> you saw that? Yeah. That's high rates, man. Yeah, high rates is uh, something I think I want to maybe practice a little bit more during the day. Mid rates seems pretty comfortable at night. I can turn it right around on a dime. You hear the kid? Hear the kids? What the heck? What the heck? Look at it. Well, it's dark. It can't be any thermals, but there. Oh, we got. Well, we got definite breeze up there. We got seven to eight mile an hour winds up there right now. Seven to nine, actually, gusting to thirteen, according to the flight weather. Uh, okay, which way are you going? This way. And you're coming that way. Let's see, I've still got uh, over four minutes left on my timer. Yeah. Well, they take, you know, if you have to do any trimming at all, you know, then you wait the three seconds without touching any controls. But I haven't had to do anything to this plane. Uh, other than, other than call hobby or horizon hobby and find out why i couldn't get the cg you know at two and a half inches it wasn't going to happen not even with the 3000 i couldn't make it happen 3028 grams of weight and it, and that was the only thing it took to do it and i'm like that can't be right not a chance Shame the moon's not behind us a little bit more back there. I'm banking right. Oh, I'm banking left. <laughs> that was a little bit of here. Just a little, I saw. What are you talking about, safe? You, want to, you don't want to do this? Not right now, not until I get used to it. You have more... Uh... Oh, I guess what comes uh, tomorrow via FedEx. What? My jet. <coughs> oh, really? Man, you're really getting a good birthday. Happy birthday, Vito, by the way, guys. My jet. The 20 on the... What is it, though? The 21st. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a few days to go on that one. Mine's on the 22nd. Anybody want to send me something? <laughs> I'll get hate mail. <laughs> and I'm getting probably nothing for Christmas because I think this was my Christmas present for myself. This and that, that other one that I can't fly yet. Dude, this, the, this thing's still floating. Look, look, look at her. She's like, she just doesn't want to come down. Please don't. Well, Marty gets to buzz your head. Well, yeah, he like he said, there, there's an experience level, and he did come a little too close. Yeah, that one video was really close. Man, he moved my hat. I mean, if I hadn't ducked a little bit, he'd have taken my hat off. I landed on the sewer thing. I hate those things. She went whoop, boom. I just wanted to. Oh, this thing's just amazing. Yeah, I can just see sitting out here on a nice, you know, reasonably calm day with, you know, some temperature, some sun, just getting the thermals and sitting on a lawn chair, Odul's by my side. Let's get that moon into a shot here. This ain't right unless I come across the moon. Is that a UFO? 
Yeah, I just cut right across the moon there. You know some old person going to report that <laughs> No problem seeing it. Man, it's almost like stalled. I must be hitting a little bit of a headwind. She's never gonna come down if you keep hitting that headwind. It's a little, just about a three mile an hour breeze, I think is keeping it up there, you know. Let's see, after about a uh, hundred and something different flights, I can check out all the different patterns, right? <laughs> I think I'm going to get too cold before the battery wears out on this thing. So this is the Radian FT, 2,000 millimeter soaring plane. Got this one from Horizon, from Horizon Hobby. Motion RC carries it as well. And I'm still gliding. <laughs> All right, that's losing altitude a little bit. It sure does get back up there in a hurry. I mean, on full rates, it almost goes. I mean, I had mid rates there, and she climbed no problem. Full rates, that thing probably go almost vertical. And with a high C battery, I bet it does. I'm just running the Admiral 22. You you said you're running a 2200. Which one? Uh, Radiant. Which I do want to get Admirals. I don't really like the Radiant. I wanted to get the Venoms in there, but they don't fit. They're a lot more thicker. They've got the other uh, thick fat wedge design rather than the square design. Florian's got the uh, square design, but they're not the best batteries in the world. They're great. They're good for the bu good bang for buck, but you don't you don't expect to get your 300 charges out of them unless you're just extremely lucky. Okay, I'm, go out that way, okay? I'm yet to see one with you know really good internal resistance. Got you, buddy. I'm just going to follow you. How's that? We'll play a little follow the leader. Were you under powered flight? So call the shots. You know, if you're turning, let me know.
still got over two minutes on my timer too. You notice the turn into the wind all of a sudden you give it almost a stall? Oh. Ah, we're close, we're about a foot apart. And you go quick for aileron and it's not there, you know? <laughs> Do about 80%. 70 just doesn't seem quite about right for me. I can't get enough turn on the on the tail. Or start with 70, stay soft. Mine's only gliding a little faster because I've got a little more weight in the nose. Hey, you know what? This is the second plane I've seen you fly at night for a maiden. You got balls, buddy. Well, you know what? I have more this year. Bada bang, bada bing, huh? This, this one. I have more success with this one. <laughs> Dude, I think a toddler could fly this. You know, well, maybe not. Because if you give it some serious. <laughs> If you give it some serious down, I mean, you oh, can really crash it. this. Oh, yeah. And that's even with safe. On 70%, yeah. it, it dives at a, at a 70 per degree angle. Well, we're definitely catching some video here. I don't know how many people watch all of this will bore the hell out of them. Oh, well, there's some people that, that got a little close, didn't it? Yeah, there's like some people out there that actually do this for shooting stuff. Maybe. It's actually pretty cool. Especially got that on camera. That actually was pretty cool. You were looking out that way, though. Yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, that's where my plane was. Yeah, I don't think I got it. No. Give her power, she just climbs. So you're not gonna rejoin the club, are you? I'm not really sure yet, I you know. know. I know they were supposed to vote or something today. Vote on something, what? Yeah, new members, I think, uh, for the club. Like Mike and all of them, I think they're all stepping down. I meant to make it tonight, but I really wanted to see this thing at night. I was gonna go, then I'm like, eh. I haven't been doing it. Well, if we didn't go tonight, I would have gone to the meeting. Yeah. I picked green because it looked more alien. <laughs> Blue would have been a good one too. Yeah, mine's kind of like a clear. Get the white with the black bands going. I got same thing, but green with the black bands. Still got a minute and a half. Oh, six minutes. <laughs> I, I looked and looked for my fingertip, you know, my fingerless gloves. Yeah. And uh, I can't find them anywhere. I like these gloves. Because I had them in my box from last winter and I took them out for the summer and I put them somewhere safe. As I usually do. Fun thing about getting old is you 
get to enjoy the movies twice, three times sometimes, you know. Uh, you find things a lot. <laughs> and then go, oh, yeah, I was looking for that about a month ago. Like my girlfriend and the cooking recipes that she couldn't find, and then all of a sudden she found them. <laughs> Funny how that works, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see how she stalls out. And she don't. <laughs> there is no stall on this plane. Unless it's in the wind, I suppose, and you get it slow enough. Let's try it going in the wind a little bit. Oh, there's a stall. Did you see it? Yeah. Why do you keep doing that to my neck? A little stall and just drops a tip and then it just continues in flying. Now somebody gave me a trick to try to land this closer. Yeah. Tick the prop as you're landing. Okay. And it'll go out and cause drag once in a while. You know, just tick it. Tick, tick. So I'm going to give that a try. If I wasn't having so much fun, I'd have, I landed it already and changed colors, but... <laughs> My goal, of course, is to land this at my feet. Then again, I forgot to tick the prop. And I should probably land into the wind, shouldn't I? Duh! Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> that just made it go. <laughs> I had it too. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember to thank my patron for that one. He says he tries it on the Consendo and it works. Well, it didn't work on this, man. This thing just wants to go right away. And I tried just giving it a tick. <laughs> well, it went tick tock, tick tock, like that fast. There's my man. There's Vito. I says, there's my buddy. There's Vito. You know I don't work at the hospital anymore, right? No. Yeah, I work at Walmart now. You can always come visit me. Yeah, I'll take that one. How was that? Good. What's with Walmart now? Did you quit the hospital for? Too much drama. Oh, I had to live with that drama for like four years when I worked there. Yeah. And I just got tired of working second shift. How much time I got left? Oh, <laughs> I just reset it. I think I still had about a minute and a half though. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. This is uh, Skip and Vito. And uh, where'd he go? Yeah, I'm down oh, there you are cool plane guys I have to give it thumbs up we'll get a bunch more colors up here next time thanks for watching Vito say goodbye Bye. see you guys have a nice holiday if I don't see you soon from Skip and Vito Crash Test Boys Skip Built RC signing out
See ya. Light test.